What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue the series for the positional previews for the New York Giants and this will be the last episode of the offense. We've covered everywhere from quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, uh, and the offensive line and now we're on to the tight ends tomorrow. Actually this might be a double upload day so tomorrow I mean today you might get cornerbacks or linebackers or D-line or whatever or safeties or whatever. It might be a double upload uh, because I want to start getting into covering OTAs and stuff like that. And I don't want to keep double uploading every day. So I might just, you know, get them out the way, get the positional previews out the way now and then start covering the uh, OTAs and start doing other stuff with you guys. So real quick, before I get into this, um, matter of fact, let's go over the tight ends first. Tight end number one, our first round draft pick, Evan Ingram, number 88. Um, a lot of people aren't too happy with this pick still. I was surprised to see a lot of Giants fans still not happy with this pick. I get it. We should have gotten Ryan Ramchick. I get it. We should have traded up for Garrett Bowles, but we didn't. Move on. And we got Evan Ingram. He's going to be great, a great tight end. Um, matchup nightmare. Is he your conventional tight end? No. He's not, and that's the only problem I do have with him. You know, is he gonna have? Is he gonna play? You know, regular tight end stuff? Because that's what we need. We need an all around tight end that can block and receive and stuff like that. And I think we we messed up a little bit in getting Evan Ingram because we needed that blocker type kind of guy. Uh, but you know, I'm not upset with the Evan Ingram pick whatsoever. Do not get me wrong. Moving on, we got Will Ty. Um, he's gonna be our backup tight end. Great backup. You know, he's he was. He, you know, he was he was not a good tight end starting, but he was serviceable. Now you put him in that backup role, you put him as that tight end number two, and things just start getting more interesting as far as the tight end group goes. Rhett Ellison, I don't consider him much as a tight end because the Giants are now pushing heavy. If you guys were watching, uh, you know, the press conferences and guy and watching what the Giants are doing as far as their roster goes the Giants are really trying to set up a power run scheme and I imagine Red Ellison won't be doing too much at tight end only when we do run the ball he'll be you know uh, you know as the wing back and then he's going to be you know blocking there but I do I strongly do believe that he's going to be the fullback going into this year that he's literally just going to be you know called a fullback uh, you know, in the eye formation, in the strong eye, weak eye, all that stuff. He, that's going to be the guy. So I think most of his snaps are going to come from fullback. But he's listed as a tight end. He still is a tight end. So I'll still keep him there at tight end. Next, we've got uh, Jarrell Adams, who we had high hopes for. And I think we drafted him last year in the sixth round, I believe. I want to say the sixth round. And we had high hopes for him. We were hoping that maybe he could develop and become that starter because he. a lot of draft analysts were saying he was supposed to go in the fourth round. You know, I believe that in the beginning, but at the same time, he didn't play much in college. He had a lot of potential, and when he did uh, when he did play in college, he did very well, but he just, you know, he didn't play too much. I, I imagine that's why he fell in, you know, on the draft boards and stuff like that. So he's coming in as probably tight end number three, I want to say. You know, like I said, Red Ellison is going to be that fullback. So uh, Jarrell Adams is going to be that tight end number three. Then we got Matt Lacoste, who started with us about three, two or three years ago, uh, right when Will Ty actually came along, so about two years ago. And, you know, for a long time, a lot of people were saying, and including myself, when I would see uh, them in, in the practice, in OTA highlights, and even in the preseason, I thought Matt Lacoste was going to be the guy going in. I thought Matt Lacoste was going to be the one making the roster and not Will Ty. But that that wound up being uh, a different case, and Will Ty wound up making the roster. And, you know, two years later, he became the starter. Um, you know, and then Larry Donnell was uh, eventually, you know, let go of, thank God. But, um... Moving on, we got Colin Thompson. I don't imagine he's going to be making that much noise. I mean, who knows? You know, this tight end group is pretty inexperienced, pretty, um, you know, below average. So I think anybody could come on and try to earn a spot with us. Uh, and yeah, I say us because, you know, I'm a Giants fan. And, you know, us meaning our team. I'm not part of I get I'm not part of the the Giants organization or anything, but I say us as in us, the team, you know, I'm not part of the team, I don't work for the team, I know that, just, 
That's why I say I say us. Okay. So anyway, um, I believe um, Ladarius Green was let go from the Los Angeles. No, I mean Los Angeles. He was playing with the San Diego Chargers. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was eventually let go. He's 27 years old. I just want to put a question out there because I did see it, you know, in talks from Giants, uh, Giants chats and stuff like that, and Giants uh, blog posts and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people saying should we sign Ladarius Green, even though we have Evan Ingram and Will Ty and stuff like that, you know, just to add more depth, should we sign Ladarius Green? And I want to put that question out for you guys. Do you think we should sign Ladarius Green? Um, you know, he's not much of a blocker, so that's not what we're gonna be gonna uh, what we're gonna be getting in him. But he is another guy that can go out and catch the ball, and you know he could be a uh, he could be a good tight end number two. And we we move uh, Will Ty down to tight end number three. Maybe we can go in three tight end sets like we've never done before. Um, you know the Patriots do it all the time. It's not like it's a bad thing to have you know two starter type tight ends with Evan Ingram and uh, Ladarius Green. Look at New England when they had Aaron Hernandez and and Rob Gronkowski, and then when they had Rob Gronkowski and um, Mar- Martellus Bennett. So it's not bad to have two good tight ends, and you know who who knows maybe maybe it'll be a good thing signing Ladarius Green. He's another tight end you could throw out in the slot and catch the ball. And, um, yeah, so I just want to put that question out there for you guys. Do you guys think we should sign Ladarius Green? I personally, I think, I don't think it would be a bad idea, but I personally probably wouldn't do it. But, um, I I don't think it's, I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't think I would be too mad if, if the Giants did go out and get Ladarius Green. That means that, you know, they're trying to pay attention to the tight end, um, core a little bit more. Um, I just hope in the preseason we get some kind of offensive tackle, but. Uh, during preseason cuts, but anyway, um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Right now, I got the unofficial depth chart of tight ends being Evan Ingram, tight end number one, Will Ty, tight end number two, and then um, Jarrell Adams, tight end number three, and you're going to throw in Red Ellison, whether it's three or tight end number four, or whatever it is. Uh, like I said, I think Red Ellison could be playing more fullback. I think he's just going to, you know, he's wearing, I believe he's wearing number 85, which is a um, a tight end number, but, um, uh, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, tight, uh, four tight ends on the roster, I believe, I think, uh, we usually keep two on the roster, but I think four is a good amount this year, being that we do have a lot of guys, um, that can play, so, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.